how to source rent to service accommodation deals through letting agents. On this video, I'm gonna share it all. I'm Simon and on this video, I know it sounds too good to be true, but I'm gonna be revealing exactly how to source serviced accommodation deals through your local letting agents. If that sounds good, you're in the right place. If you like content like this, please do me a favor. I speak to people every day and they're like, oh, but I'm not signed up for YouTube, so I can't subscribe. Just do me a favor. Take 10 seconds, sign up to YouTube, subscribe to the channel, drop me a few comments, let me know that you're listening, okay? I'd really appreciate it. And you should also know that I man my YouTube personally. So if you ever post a comment, it will be me that responds and I will help you in any questions you've got. In fact, I might even go ahead and do a video. Talking of which, I'm doing a special feature right now where you can ask me anything. So hit me up on Instagram at Simon Smith Online with your 10 questions and I will do a dedicated video right here to you. And if you want a shout out, just make it clear in the message and I've got you. So, serviced accommodation deals through letting agents. How do you do this? So I'm gonna break this down for you, okay? But the good thing about serviced accommodation deals is there's no Article 4, okay? And you don't have to rely on larger properties or HMO properties. Any property can technically be a serviced accommodation unit, okay? Any property. Um, but I've got loads of content on the channel about what type of properties I go for, so I'm not gonna cover that in this video. The first thing you've got to do is you've got to identify properties that you like, you have gotta call up the agent, and you've got to arrange a viewing. Now the biggest mistake I see at this stage is people overshare. They try to sell the concept of their business rather than just the viewing. So I want you to do a step-by-step -step process. So the first call, all you've got to do is arrange the viewing. You're selling the viewing, not rent to rent, not company let, not anything. So less is more. Now I know what you're saying, but yeah, but what, you know, what happens if they you know, ask me what I'm doing, this, that, and the other? Then you need the elevator pitch, okay? Um, you need to know exactly what you're doing. Okay, you need to say, look, you know, we're a relocation agency working with companies such as XXX in the local area or, or whatever your script is, but you're not using the word rent to rent. You're not using the word Airbnb, booking.com, spare room. You're keeping it short and sweet. Once you've got the viewing, I'm going to admit, they're like, Simon, it ain't that easy. You're making it out like it's easy, bro. <laughs> I'm like, all right, hang on. So understand that rent to rent is not for everybody, but the people it is for, it really is for. So if they're not really on it, the landlord wants a family, that's cool. You know, don't be mad, that's cool. If they're giving you a hard time and they say head office won't allow it, that's cool too. If they say they've had a bad experience and you get the impression it's a smaller agent, all I would do is try and get their email, send them your website and information, follow up, and understand that a no today is not a no tomorrow. And somebody new could be, um, could come over to the agency that understands company lets, okay? I've seen this a lot. So just follow up every few weeks and just keep trying, but don't lose no sleep. If they allow you to do the viewing, you get to the viewing and now you're viewing the property and you are gonna be nervous. You're gonna be, you're gonna be like, whoa. And you're gonna get the dreaded question, when are you moving in then? Is it just you, Simon, or is it your family? And as soon as they say this, that's the time to then share and start selling the business, okay? You need to tell them what you're doing then. If they don't ask you that and they've not asked you what you're doing on the call at the end of the viewing before you take a video and send it me so I can help you, then you need to make sure that you say, by the way, this is what we're doing. The thing is with agents, the thing is with people, is once they're invested, they're way more likely to support and help you. So you're much more likely to get support from an agent once you've done the viewing and once you've offered than when they're in the office on the phone. And that's why I do this in rent to rent 2.0. Arrange the viewing, build rapport, say what you're doing, make an offer, and then it is 11 times, not 10, 11 times harder for them to tell you no because they can smell the let. They can smell it. They can feel the let. And do you know what happens when they get let? 
they run to the back of the room at the agency, yeah, and they write let, and then they get an extra hundred pound bonus and they get bragging rights at the pub on Friday night. Agent of the month. So give them what they want. Do the viewing, make an offer, build rapport, and then see what happens. That is the most simple way to get to that point. Now, when you get to that point, you are gonna have to do referencing and checks, and I have videos on that on the channel, search them. You are gonna have to go through the agreements. I've got other videos on that on this channel, go to them. I've even got videos on this channel about exactly how to negotiate rent-free periods, what you should be paying for, and what you should not when I show you my different refurbs. But that, in the essence, is the most important thing I can share with you about sourcing serviced accommodation units. And top tip, this is essential. Never ever lie about what you're going to do on a rent to rent. Never do it, never do it. If they ask you if you're gonna be advertising on Airbnb, you have gotta say yeah. You have gotta explain, look, most of my clients aren't there. Most of my relationships are direct. Some of our clients are international and therefore like to book through a trusted platform. Uh, but we may also be advertising on these platforms to ensure that we can guarantee your rent. But the thing to remember is because this is our business, we're going to be doing so many cleaning, so many inspections, so much care and love and attention to the property. I can guarantee you it's going to be looked after better than if it was just, you know, some sharers or a family that just, you know, bring a dog when there's no dog or, you know, don't bother cleaning or kids are writing on the flipping walls and all that. So if you found this useful, hit me up, comment below with any questions, okay? I really appreciate the support. Make sure you check out the other content on this video and give me a subscribe if you think I've earned it, which I think I have. And I'll see you in the next video. Introducing Creative Cashflow Plus, the first rent-to-rent -rent app and leading platform dedicated to supporting you on your property journey. Ask the experts anything. Be held accountable so that you can smash your goals. Mastermind with other rent-to-rent -rent specialists. Access our deal clinic to get your deals analyzed by a pro. And unlock hours of videos and podcasts guaranteed to help you take your rent-to-rent -rent business to the next level. Get the ongoing support that you deserve. Join us, Creative Cashflow Plus.